Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T T's official study manual, 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll solve some problems dealing with linear equation, simple linear equation containing only one variable, one variable equations on page number 148. Turn to page 148 please, always make sure the book is in front of you. If at the end of the video you find it helpful and you decide that you would like to work with me, you can get hold of me by sending me, by sending me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Alright, let's take a look at it, or rather to, let's take a look at them. There are five very simple, very straightforward examples on page number 148 and 140, 149. Here's the first one. In the book, in the book they do not enumerate them as A, B, C, D, E, but I'm going to do that. Let's call them, let's give them names so it's easier to keep track of. First one, A, it says X plus 35 is equal to 74. And the question simply is, what's the value of X? Well, let's just separate the x by bringing 35 to this side by subtracting 35 from both sides. So now positive 35 and negative 35 is going to go away, which was the whole point. And x is simply 74 minus 35. 14 minus 5 would be 9. And this becomes 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. There you go, 39. And if you put it back in here, 39 plus 35, 35 plus 35 would have been 70. And 4 more, that makes us 74. Let's look at number b. B says x minus 8 is equal to negative 14. Again, we want to bring the 8 to this side. We want to separate the unknowns and the known quantity. Typically, we leave the unknowns on the left hand side and bring all the known quantities on the right hand side. And we're going to do that by adding 8 to, 8 to both sides. I don't like it the way it came out. That 8 has to line up with the unity right here. So now negative 8 and positive 8 is going to drop out and x is simply equal to negative 14 and positive 8 is going to give us negative 6. And again if you put it back in you will see that it makes perfect sense. Negative 6 and a negative 8 gives us negative 14. Let's do C. C says 4x is equal to 7. 4x is equal to 7. And we want to get the x by itself and we are going to do that by dividing both sides by 4. And the 4 is going to drop out and x is equal to 7 fourth. x is equal to 7 fourth. Or if you like, or if you like, 1 and 3 fourth. There we go. Let's do part D. Part D is on the next page, page number 149. Part D says four fifth x is equal to twenty. Now we want to get the x by itself. That's the whole point. Always our goal always is to get the unknown by itself. Here we have four fifth x. How do we get that? How do we get rid of this four fifth? Well, it's very easy. It's very easy. Multiply both sides of the equation by 5 fourth. Always remember that whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do the exact same thing to the other side. We multiply this side of the equation by 5 fourth, we must do the same thing on this side. And why did we multiply? And why did we choose to multiply both sides of the equation by 5 fourth? Well, because it's the reciprocal of 4 fifths. So now 5 divided by 5, it goes away, they both become 1. And 4 divided by 4, they both become 1. And we have the x by itself, x equals to 20 times 5 fourths. And let's simplify this thing. We have a 4 on the bottom, let's divide, and we have 20 on the top. They are both multiples of 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. And what we end up is 5 times 5, which is 25. In other words, in other words, what we're claiming is that x is equal to 25. 
that's what x is right there, x is equal to 25. And if you want, we could very easily verify it also, it's not a big deal. And we can verify it, we, we were told originally that 4 fifth, 4 fifth of x, which we, are, which we are claiming to be 25, has to equal 20. Let's see if it equals 20 or not. 5, divide top and bottom by 5, 5 will go away and 25 will become 5 and there you go, 5 times 4 is 20, just the way it's supposed to be. It confirms, it, verify, it is verified. Let's do part E, the last one. Part E. Part E says, Five x plus five is equal to two x minus ten. Five x plus five is equal to two x minus ten. Let's see what we can do here. Again, the goal goal always is to bring all the unknowns to one side and all the known quantities to the other side. And typically, the convention is the tradition is that we keep the unknown on the left hand side. And known quantity on the right hand side. So this is a known quantity, 5 is a 5. How do we get bring it to this side? It's very simple. Subtract 5 from both sides. And here we have a positive 2x. How do we get rid of it? How do we bring it to this side? Well, subtract 2x from both sides. Why? Because we want to do the opposite. If it's positive, we want negative. If it's negative, we want positive. So positive 2x and negative 2x positive 2x and negative 2x, they're going to kill each other and a positive 5 and a negative 5, they're going to kill each other and they're gone. And here we end up with positive 5x and a negative 2x is going to give us positive 3x and if it's positive, if it's positive 3x, we don't have to write positive in front of it. And here we end up with negative 10 and negative 5. Negative 10 and negative 5 will add up to negative 15. We're still not done because we are not interested in knowing how much is 3x equal to, we want to know what x is equal to. So let's divide both sides by 3. If I divide both sides by 3, 3 is going to go away and x is equal to negative 15 now divided by 3, which is negative 5. Now again, if we wanted to, we could actually verify it. We could very easily verify it to make sure our work is correct. Let's verify it. And when we're doing the verification, the left hand has to equal to, at the end, the left hand has to turn out to be equal to the right hand side. That's how we know the work is correct. The left hand was 5x, 5x plus 5. That was the left hand. 5x, and we're claiming the x is negative 5. 5x plus 5. That was the left hand side. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. And negative 25 and a positive 5 is going to give us negative 20. That's the left hand side. Let's see what the right hand side gives us. Right hand side. Right hand side, we were told, equals 2x, 2x minus 10. 2x, which we are claiming to be negative 5, 2x minus 10. 2, 2 times negative 5 will be negative 10. And another negative 10, negative 10, negative 10 is going to give us negative 20. And what do we know? It checks out. It checks out just fine. Tomorrow, in the next video, we'll do the five practice problems that you see on the following page, on page number 150, the practice problem. Let's save that for tomorrow so that the video does not get too long. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Again, if you want to get hold of me, you can get hold of me at kashmaniprep at icloud.com. Alright? Bye now.